Hi everyone, this is iCrafts and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this Sephora lace bracelet. This was designed by Looming.Cupquake and named by Oreo Loomer, so go check their accounts out. And I really like this design. It is on two looms, but it's very easy to transfer onto one loom. So if you don't know how to transfer things, then look at some other tutorials where a two loom bracelet was made on one loom, so you can get an idea of what to do. This bracelet is super pretty. I love how the rainbow looks in this bracelet. And please keep in mind during this tutorial that I did go as slowly as I could, but it is impossible for me to go the perfect speed for everyone who watches this video. So I just tried my best. And without wasting your time any further, let's just jump right into the video. So for this bracelet, you'll be needing five pin bars set up in this configuration. You'll also need a hook, and I recommend a metal tipped hook, although it's not necessary. You'll also need a C-clip or S-clip to close off your bracelet. And lastly, you will need bands. In this tutorial, I'll be using white for the border, and then zebra for the black in this bracelet. And for the inside colors, I'll be using the dual layered passion pink banana peel and blue lagoon bands. Those are all the supplies we'll be needing, and now we can just begin making the bracelet. So like in most bracelets, the first thing we'll need to do is make our border, and like I mentioned, I'll be using white. So I'm just going to line the bottom of my looms, just going outwards from the center on both sides. And I know I say this in every one of my videos, but please excuse my nails, they're really short, I know. And then I'm going up both pin bars until I reach this peg right here, and then I'm going inwards. And I'm going to probably just not add music when I fast forward because in my last video I accidentally added just music, and it was like a black screen for a minute or two so I'm not going to add music during the fast forward parts but I do like fast forwarding because it makes my tutorials shorter and also it stops me from talking for like 10 minutes about random things but now I'm just going inwards like that and I'm just going to fast forward well, I do the other side just like I did um, on the left. So like that, and now I'm going to do this side. So as you can see in this bracelet, there are these bands on the side that are pulled over the border. So that's what I'll be placing now, and um, the rainbow doesn't quite line up that's just because of the color pattern so keep that in mind so i'm just going to take my first band so to start off this pattern i'm going from the first peg on the far left to the second peg on the second pin bar and i'm just not used to doing two of tutorials so that's why i'm kind of talking here and then i'm going to continue that up my loom just placing diagonal bands parallel to this first one and I'm doing that on both sides but the other side will be a mirror image and these bands are probably going to twist a lot because they are dual layered but I think it'll be worth it in the end because I really do like these colors and I totally forgot that I have purple or I would have used that too And I spilled my blue bands, but I'll just clean that up later. I know I'm talking about random things, but I'm trying to be myself more in videos. So, on the other side, I'm just going to do the same thing, but the first peg on the right to the second peg on the fourth pin bar. Just like this. And going to just go up to the top of my loom. Obviously not doing it on this peg because or this peg because I don't want to overlap the border. And I'm not going to fast forward this part because I kind of want to talk 
and also I'm almost done. But sorry if I seem quieter now than when I was um, in the intro, but that's just because I, for some reason, I'm really quiet in videos. Not really sure why, I can't help it, but I'll try to be louder in the future. Anyways, this is basically what my loom looks like. And now I'm going to start on the stripes, that's um, my zebra bands, the black in this bracelet. And it's really easy, you're just going to make a single chain. On the second and fourth pin bars, and my camera might shut off now, I'm not really sure, it's blinking and it's counting down, so it's kind of strange. Sorry about that, but my SD card was saying it was full, even though there's barely anything on it. But just making a single chain. And I know I'm talking about a lot of random stuff in this video, but I'm just a very random person, and this is my true personality. So, um, if you don't like me talking about random stuff, then you can just like fast forward or mute me, or whatever. I won't get offended or anything. But I'm just going to repeat this on the fourth pin bar as well. And the um, this part will kind of get like woven in. It won't be an actual single chain in the end, as you can see, but on the back it is a single chain. And I'm just going to fast forward while I finish up this side. So if you did this correctly, this is what your loom should look like. And now I'm going to work on the middle portion. And this part is pretty easy. So I'm just going to be taking my passion pink to start with. And you just need to go up on the middle pin bar. And then I'm going diagonally downwards, connecting the top of this band to the bottom of the zebra band and then doing that on the other side so you're just making this arrow shape and then I'm going with my banana peel going forward and then diagonally downwards to make an arrow and this is what I meant the colors will not line up technically I could have started with blue and then they would have lined up more but since um the way we loop it is differently. It, it will get messed up anyway, but I still think it looks good. So you can do whatever you like with your bands, but I'm just going to repeat this. So hopefully this makes sense. I'm not sure how to explain it besides saying that we're making arrows and you can see what I'm doing. So you should be able to do this. I'm just doing this until I reach the top of my loom. And sorry if I'm going kind of quickly, but it is 7.30, and Pretty Little Liars is tonight, and that's my favorite show, so I really want to watch it, and it probably seems like a bad reason to go fast, but, I mean, I have like an hour, so, yeah, I'll try to go as late as possible. Now I'm just going to fast forward until I get to the top. So now I am at the top and to end this I'm just going to grab my blue lagoon and simply go forward For, or forwards um, however you want to say it and this is what my loom will look like and this is the entire brand placement so this and make sure these are on the bottom of course above the border and then it's the zebra and then the middle is on top. And now I'm turning my loom around, 
And I'm just going to make a cat band with my white on this first peg. And then we can grab our hooks and begin the hooking process. So first thing we need to do is loop the center. So we're just going inside the cat band, grabbing the top band and looping this forwards. And then I'm grabbing the top banana peel band, just looping that outwards. The next band, looping that outwards also. And then the third band, just going forward. So I did go kind of fast, but you're just going to go forwards and loop these bands out and whatever order they're in. That's just the way you're going to loop them. So I am going to go kind of fast because this part is pretty easy compared to the rest of it. It's just very straightforward. Going up your loom, looping the bands to wherever the other end is. Nothing fancy. And I'm not going to fast forward during the hooking process because I want to make sure everyone's able to make this bracelet. So just looping this outwards. Nothing much to explain here. And sorry if my hand is ever blocking the view and I accidentally grabbed two bands there. So like that, lots of twisted bands, but this is just what my loom will look like right now that I have done the first step in the hooking process. Next I'm going to grab my hook again and go inside the cat band and just loop out these two border bands. And if the cat band falls off, that's okay. And I'm going to start the hooking process for the zebra bands, and we're not just going to go straight up. So this part's a little bit different than you would expect, probably. So I'm going to go inside this band and grab the top zebra. And instead of looping it to this peg right here, I'm going to go diagonally upwards to the other ends of the passion pink. Like that. And now I'm going inside this yellow, grabbing this other zebra stripe band, not looping it forward, I'm looping it to the other end of this blue band. So we're just looping it diagonally upwards. And I like to think of it as normally we'd place the other end where this end of the yellow banana has been said we're going to the other end if that makes any sense but it's just diagonally upwards from where it's supposed to go and i'm just going to repeat this and with the lighting changes that mean my that means my camera has died sorry apparently i cannot talk today and i'm also having lots of camera issues So I looped that and it was probably pretty fast, but this is what it should look like. And now I'm just going to loop this last band um, forward because we ran out of packs. And then I'm going to do that on the other side. So if the lighting changed, it's just because it's currently the next day. I had to charge my camera, but I'm going to repeat this on the other side like I mentioned. So I'm just going inside of this first white band and grabbing the zebra. And instead of looping it forwards, I'm going to go diagonally upwards from where the other end is to the third, the fourth peg, sorry, on the right. And then I'm going inside and grabbing the next zebra band and looping diagonally upwards from the other end. So the way I explain things might not work for everyone, 
but this is just how it makes sense to me so if you um think of it some other way then that's fine and you can see what I'm doing so hopefully this makes sense and I am going faster because I already showed it on the other side And I'm not really sure I looped it like that. But to finish it off again, just loop this forward. And now this is what your loom should look like. Or your looms. And now I'm going back to the bottom. And we're going to loop these bands on the side. So, like the pink here and the other diagonal bands. So, in this part we will not be looping it to where the other end is. We're actually going to be looping it downwards. So I'll just show you. I'm going inside this peg right here where the first band is. I'm grabbing it and instead of looping it up to this peg, I'm going to go a peg below. So it's kind of tricky to loop a band below, but this is what it should look like and these bands are crossed over. And then I'm going up a peg. The blue should go to this peg, but I'm going to the peg below that like that, grabbing this yellow, looping at a peg below where the other end is. So I'm trying not to block it too much, but this is the only way I can really think to explain it, so I really hope that makes sense. I'm just going to do that until I reach the top of my loom. It's just a peg below where the other end is. And unfortunately I do kind of have to tilt my loom because of the way my tripod is set up. And whenever I stop talking about it, I always mess up. So I apologize about that. Now I'm going back to the bottom and I'll just show you. This is what my loom looks like. So the bottom, I'm going to go inside this peg right here, grab the bottom band. It's supposed to go to this peg, but I'm looping it a peg below that. And exactly how we did on the other side, but is a mirror image. And if you normally go ahead on um, like the border and stuff, I recommend that you don't because on this bracelet we are doing something different with the border by looping some of the bands over. So if you would just do the border like normal, your bracelet will not turn out the same. So just keep that in mind if you do go ahead usually. Um, I would not do that for this bracelet because you don't want to do the wrong border. And lately I've been getting a lot of people asking if I'm open for tutorials, so I think I'll just address that now. And I'm not really sure exactly. It's kind of a long story, or it's kind of complicated. I should say I have four more tutorials to film. Two of them I don't have flipograms for, so I don't know how to make them yet. But I think I'm still doing tutorials for them. I just have to double check with the designer. And... Um, yeah, so I have four tutorials to make, basically, and I'll finish talking after I show you how to do the border. So, sorry that I'm interrupting myself, but for the border, I'm going to start by going inside this peg because these are already looped outwards, and I'm looping this band outwards as well. And the same on the other side. And then this is where the process begins. So for this peg, um, it's just the first one, so I don't have to do anything special. I'm just looping the border band forward. But here, I do need to flip some bands over. So as you can see on this peg, there are some layers of different bands. So there is the border band, and then this band that we loop downwards, and then 
there is the zebra band from the single chain and then there's a pink band that's also like the blue band and then there are the two borders so we need to loop over the pink band so it's right below the zebra so if you want to tilt your loom that might help but you're just going to stay on the outside don't go inside any bands like that you're just going to grab the pink band again from the outside and just pull it in towards the middle so it's looped over like that and then you're going to loop the border band forward and again loop over the bands below the zebra in my case it's this blue so just find that from the outside loop the border forward grab the band below the zebra loop the border forward Again, band below the zebra or whatever this single chain color was and then loop it towards the middle. So then that is just the process for the border and now I'm going to continue and do the same thing on both sides except when I get to the top I'm not going to do it for um, these pegs right here on the top. So the last one where I'm going to flip the bands over is right here and right here. So now I'll get back to what I was saying. I am technically open for tutorial requests because I only have four more to do, and, but I cannot say yes to everyone because otherwise I would just have too many tutorials to do, and it's not necessarily because of what your design looks like. If you have a bad design, I mean, everyone, no one has a bad design, but I cannot say yes to everyone, so I do like making tutorials on more unique designs. That don't look like other bracelets so just please keep in mind if I say I can't do a tutorial for you then that's just because I can't say yes to everyone so I mean a lot of people have been asking why I'm not really sure what to say it's just that I cannot say yes to everyone and if you have a YouTube channel I'm sure you understand what I mean I really don't like saying no to tutorial requests but I just sometimes have to so now I'm just going to continue without looping any bands over. So I know that was really random, but I just like talking in my videos. And now I'm doing the same thing on the other side. Remember, only loop over the band below the single chain that ran up the middle. So there was just my little I'm not really sure what to call it. It wasn't a rant. It was just an explanation if I ever say no to doing a tutorial. And sometimes if I don't respond, I just have to like think about it because I don't want to say yes and then realize I don't have time or something like that. And there's just some hair stuck in my bracelets. Yeah. And also, sorry if I have slimes talk really quietly in my videos. It's just, I don't know, I'm used to that. But I'll try to talk quiet or louder because I don't want to mumble or anything like that. So, sorry if I ever talk quietly, but um, that's just how I am, I guess. I am a pretty loud person in real life, though. So, yeah. Comment if you like me talking in videos, but if you don't, then don't comment saying you don't because of, like, just don't make it sound rude or anything like that because rude comments are never fun. And now I'm just looping these inwards. And then this is what my bracelet will look like. And pause the video so you can make sure that yours is the same. And now I'm going to take everything off of my loom except for this top peg right here. And I don't have my bands with me so I'm not going to make an extension. But I will just make a slip down, so sorry about that. So this is what my bracelet looks like right now. I'm just going to go through these bands, pull a blue lagoon band through because I just happen to have one here, and then make a slip knot. And I'll go back in an extension later probably, but for right now I just don't have my bands with me. I'm just going to go off camera and fix these bands because it looks kind of messy since um, a lot of the bands are twisted, but they're pretty easy to untwist, so I'll just go do that. 
So this is what my bracelet looks like after I'd untwisted all the bands. And then that is the finished tutorial for the Sephora lace bracelet. Again, this was designed by Looming.CutQuake on Instagram. And I will put our hashtags down in the description box as always. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And if you make it, then I'd love to see your rendition on Instagram. You can feel free to tag us in the photo. And I think I do like this rendition a little bit more, but the design is just super pretty, so I love both bracelets. Also, this was named by Oreo Loomer on Instagram, and I think that's pretty much all I have to say. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next tutorial.